Welcome back, folks. You're with us here on Sport Federation TV. And, of course, we've got a fantastic interview for you. Great news. Well, we're, 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 we're trying to understand it, but it looks like archery is heading towards the Olympics. In studio with me now is Alfredo Daz Lobo Dajnevs from Western Cape Archery, as well as our um, legendary archer, Werner Potgitter. Werner, well, let's say welcome back first before we congratulate you. Well, thank you. It's good to be back. And Alfredo, I think it's the first time that we've got you in studio with us. Not the... Uh, no, I've been b before. You've been here before? many, many moons ago. So I'm not really sure where to start now, because uh, you guys just had this incredible achievement. Both of you have been to Tunisia. Let's start, because Werner, we know some of your track record, and we know what you were trying to get to. So let's let's get into a sort of a, 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 a information introduction session, uh, Alfredo, with, with your, your role with regards to Western Cape Archery and Werner. And the big event that you guys went to now was in Tunisia. So in the Western Cape, uh, I, I judge a lot of tournaments. That's my game. Uh, I don't really p participate in the actual shooting. Yeah. Uh, but I rec well, last year I um, was elevated to a continental judge. And that's the reason why the, the Africa Federation invited me to officiate at that event. So you were in, in Tunisia. Tunisia? Yes. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, one of the big things that hit us this, this week was the knowledge that uh, archery has qualified for the Olympics. And, of course, uh, uh, the, the person that had managed to get us there was our very own Werner Portgitter. Werner, well, let me first of all say congratulations. <laughs> you must be thrilled. Uh, euphoric, ecstatic, thrilled is like at the bottom, but there's a lot of emotions above that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, it's obviously a long road ahead. Yeah, it's it's, it's tough because for me, the, the getting the spot is probably the hardest thing to do, is yeah. getting a spot for your country because there's so many c countries within the continent and we only have three male, three female spots for the continent. Yeah, so yeah. you are battling countries to get that spot. And we have a very small window in which we could do that. So my main focus was to get that spot because that is it, it, it's, it's tough. So run it's us easy. backwards R now that we've done the, the, the um, now that we've done the, the introduction. Run us backwards from the time that we last saw you, which was a few weeks ago. Literally, you were in studio here with us. Um, you were tr obviously your training was at an in, uh, an intense level, hours and hours every day. We saw. That physically, it was it was a, a, let's just say a rough ride for you, but at that stage, that was the plan: is get to Tunisia, and qualify. Yeah, that that was the first step: is yeah. getting there, qualifying, getting the spot, and yeah, the training doesn't stop. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm not yeah. going to go relax now. I'm I'm taking a few days off to recover, and then it's back to. Practicing back, the same to training. As, yeah, yeah. back to training. Yeah, back to training. So, Alfredo, how's, how does this work for for from for a South Africa perspective? Um, going on what Werner just said. Now he's essentially, if I understand this correctly, he has won the qualification for South Africa to compete, but the actual competing at the Olympics that still has to happen. That still has to happen, and the reason for why the wording is like that. Is because if you qualify one person in particular and he, he has a train crash somewhere, something happens and he's physically unable yeah. to compete, he now, you lose the spot to yeah. South Africa. Yeah. So South Africa wins the spot, but the person that you send has to be able to shoot at that level. If you don't have a person shooting at that level, you lose the spot. So we look at all the archers that are available in that category and we have, if need be, a uh, selection tournament yeah. uh, closer to the time. Uh, there's a deadline that uh, the Olympics will require for you to submit your name for. So, Werner, the, 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 the interesting thing, because I obviously, from my, from my own perspective, I feel that you won the slot, you should be the one competing. Obviously, the world of sport works a little bit differently, but that's how I would see it. Um, you, how do you feel about the fact that you've actually flown the flag for South Africa? not only for yourself you've actually thrown the flag and whether you go or not you're the one that that basically kicked the door down for south africa i, I kind of use analogy it's i mean did i sum it up right in essence yes yeah. i mean but the guy kicking the door down isn't necessarily the guy who gets the glory you know it, it's unfortunate 
that that might may or may not happen. But uh, at the end of the day, it's it's for the country. It's yeah. for the country to to say that we've been there, we've done this, and uh, if it brings the country together, the people together, only for a little bit, that they forget their problems and headaches, then so be it. I mean, that, that is the that is the goal. To I think it is yeah. absolutely amazing, and and uh, we we certainly need to give the give the accolade to you so far for, 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 for kicking the door down. Did you get to a point in this training um, th that you felt like, hang on, I've got to, I've got to balance this a little bit more? I, I feel I didn't train enough because okay. during the, <laughs> since we spoke, um, I came back from Turkey and I did fine. And just before our first uh, provincial tournament, I, there was a glitch. Yeah. And I couldn't figure it out. I was not shooting at the level I wanted to be. Um, but because I kept going, I could figure it out. And if you, if you slow down, if you take a step back, um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm glad I didn't take a step back and I fixed what needed to be fixed to, to compete. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I think I need to train a bit harder. <laughs> I've, I've so talking about more. training a bit harder, what, what does come next for you now? Um, we, we were just talking about it in, in one of the other segments is that at the level that you guys are training, it's literally we hear about you guys training seven hours a day multiple hours yeah it's get up have your breakfast or coffee in my case then you hit the range and you practice you get home afternoon and then yeah. you rinse and repeat rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. <laughs> alfredo from a judging point of view what advice do you give an athlete train smart train smart train smart because uh, nine times out of ten, our athletes are, have a daytime job. So they've got the day's effort in their, in their muscles, in their bones. Mm. So to go and force yourself to be on the range and train when you're physically tired, uh, and uh, you're going to end up training incorrectly. Mm -hmm. And you see that when you're judging. You see a person uh, um, floundering because they're not training smart. You gotta pick your battles, when do I train, when do I spend the time, when can I say no to that family bri, to go beyond the range, when do I know need to go and see a physio to work on that muscle. And uh, don't be silly and not ask for someone else's opinion. Yeah. There's, because you cannot see yourself. You have to have another pair of eyes on you, just watching you and you, so that you can understand why that shot went like it did. Yeah, yeah And yeah. I think Werner can tell. He had one little oops in his in his match, and he watched this. He watched the footage, and the footage told him what went wrong. And he, oh, that's what happened. Okay, fine. Do you spend a Werner? Do you spend uh, time looking at footage, technical analysis, as Alfredo was talking about? <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't have footage. So this footage that I have from Africa Champs has come in quite handy. Yeah. Um, it's it's invaluable to me yeah so i did go through it and i realized especially in the gold medal match something just didn't gel it didn't go the way i wanted to and i couldn't figure it out i mean you have nine arrows yeah. basically and, and then it's over so you don't have time to fix a mistake yeah but going back i i noticed two things that i think yeah, it's, you don't know you don't feel it it doesn't but you can put two and two together and say okay that was the problem and it is invaluable. So, also. Alfredo, how much how much technology is involved in the in in the game today? You know, we, we, we there's tremendous yeah. technology. The equipment is insane. The testing on the equipment when you get to get to the manufacturers, it's insane amount of testing. Yeah. Uh, then our technology to produce the footage that uh, was produced on YouTube, uh, that's uh, was only done on the finals day. Um, World Archie got the team out there. Uh, a local team to p bring the cameras, but they ran the, uh, they ran it, and the commentator for that for that uh, footage was actually in the UK. He wasn't local. Oh yes, of course, technology so today you can. <laughs> so they pr reproduced all the the, the match charts, yeah, and yeah. they get sent through to them, and they commentate based on what they have uh, in. The, uh, the documentation so do, do you guys as athletes when you're busy on training on the range do you have an ability to take technology home with you in a way or is it all training on the range seeing what you do there's your result in front of you but can you take any analysis home uh, 
short of what I see on YouTube, I don't, I, there's nothing really short of what you coach yeah. videotapes or, or video. So do you have a coach that does videotape you? We, we, we do have a coach. What he does is really, it's up to him what yeah. he feels necessary yeah, at yeah, the time. Yeah. And yeah. How do you teach judges to look at it, Alfredo? What do you judge? I mean, most people would think there's nothing to judge because you look at where the arrow lands on the, on, on the target and it's in a scoring point. Is there something to, what do you judge? You are as tired as the athletes are after, after the day because you've got to be hyper aware of what they're doing. Yeah. And if you understand what they're physically doing, that influences what happens on the target. Yeah. So you got to know the game, and if your focus is not there, uh, you lose. And then if you lose, the game loses, and then the archers lose. So mm. the book, the rule of book, the book of rules is one thing, but to actually the skill of judging, you learn on the on the range. Just tournament after tournament, doing it, calling it, being aware of uh, people and how comfortable they are on the range, and all of that makes up the package for guiding um, these sheep along the way. <laughs> Alfredo, we'll leave it there. We, we, th we th say thanks to you for coming in. It's been great chatting with you. Thank you. And I think it's, we, we could probably have hours more of, 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 of discussing just uh, all, all the, the intricacies of judging. But we'll, yeah, congratulations, not only on Werner's performance, but on, on, on again, representing Western Cape and South Africa internationally. Great. Thank and you. Werner, we'll leave it at that. You are currently our um, uh, our hero of the month of the year, <laughs> and congratulations on the effort. Don't take the foot off the gas. We're all 100% behind you. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. There we go. Right, folks. Wow, Western Cape athletes just doing <laughs> amazing. Our archery guys, Werner and his team, um, qualifying for the Olympics and flying the flag for South Africa. Wow. We'll leave it at that. We'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Have a fantastic sporting weekend. Bye-bye.